Okay, so for we're going to do some blood typing problems next. Um, for each problem, we're going to go ahead and do the Punnett squares. We're going to look for the genotypic and phenotypic ratio of the F1 and the F2 generation. So the F1 are the children and the F2 are the grandchildren, essentially. All right, let's do look at number one. A woman homozygous for blood type B marries a man who is heterozygous for type A. What will be the possible genotypes and phenotypes of their children? So the first thing we need to do is look at the parents, and the parents are given to us in the problem. So if they're homozygous, homo meaning the same, for type B, it's going to be I, big B, I, big B. And who is heterozygous for type A, that means they're going to be different. So if we're looking at hetero, we're I, A, little i. And then we're just going to um, fill out the Punnett square here. So I'm going to put our first parent, this guy, over here on the side. So we're I, B, I, B. And then this one parent will go right here at the top. So we're I, A, I, A. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. It should be little i. All right. And then um, let's go ahead and... Uh, Fill it out. We're always going to put A's before B's. Um, it just sort of makes sense and capital before lowercase. So we're going to go I, A, I, B, I, A, I, B, and then I, B, little i, I, B, little i. So we look at the genotype of the F1 generation. That means what are the, um, what is the genetic makeup? And we actually, we have two so we have this one right here, which is going to be I, A, I, B. And the other one that we have in our four boxes is I, B, little i. All right, and if we look, we have two of these that are I, A, I, B. And we have two that are I, B, little i. So two to two, but we can reduce that to a one to one. So that means 50% are going to be I, A, I, B and 50% are going to be I, B, little i. So now we look at the phenotype. And when we're looking at the phenotype, it means what does it actually look like? This is going to be blood type A, B, and this is blood type B. So, and again, we are at a one to one ratio. So that means 50% have blood type A, B, and 50% have blood type B. Number two, a man with type O, blood marries a woman with type AB blood. What would the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the children? So if we're looking at type O, that's little i, little i, and type AB, that's going to be big I A, and then another big I B. All right, and so let's go ahead and do that cross. So we have little i, little i. We have I A, I B, and then we just sort of fill out that Punnett square. Remember, capital letter before lowercase. And then I, A, little i, I, B, little i. Okay, looking over at the genotypes, we're looking at what are the letters or what are the genetic makeup. And we have two choices here. And we have I, A, little i. And we also have I, B, little i, right? And notice that I have two that are I, A, little i, and I have two that are I, B, little i, okay? And I can reduce that to a one to one ratio. And when we look at phenotype, what does it actually look like? So what is the blood type for an I, A, little i? That is blood type A. And we look at I, B, little i, that is blood type B. And I am a one to one ratio. Okay, this next one is a little bit trickier, so let's go ahead and sort of go through it. A woman whose mother was type O marries a type O man. So we know that this is this guy is going to be little i, little i. What we need to figure out is this mother. So we know that she is type B. So she has to have an I, B allele in order to be um, type B, but... We know that um, the mother was type O, okay? So this woman's mother was type O, so that mother must have given her a little I, okay? And so 
now we can sort of deduce that this woman is I B little I and this man is little I little I. So we're looking at the P1 cross. These are my parents. Okay. And the we'll just put it in our Punnett square. I B little I and little I little I. Okay. Um, and then we just go ahead and do the cross. Little I little I. All right, so my genotypes, I have two different genotypes here. I have I, B, little i, and the other genotype I have is little i, little i, okay? And I have these in a one-to-one -one ratio. And then if I'm looking at the phenotype, this is type B blood, and little i, little i is type O blood, okay? And then I have that in a one-to-one -one ratio. All right, number four, a type A woman whose father was type B marries a type B man whose mother was type A. What were the children's possible genotypes and phenotypes? So let's go ahead and go through it. If we're a type A woman, okay, so we know that we have to have IA. What we don't know is what that second letter is going to be yet. Okay, so this is sort of a question mark. Um, and we know that we also have a, she marries a type B man, okay? And so we're going to be type B, and then this is a question mark, okay? So how do we figure out that question mark? Well, we look at the next part of this sentence. We said a type A woman whose father was type B. So the father of this woman was type B. Well. In order to be type B, you can be I, B, I, B, or I, B, little i, okay? Well, if the father was this, okay, was I, B, I, B, right here, they could have never given an, an A. This woman only could have been A, B. But because if this father was this one right here, the father could have given this little i. Um, so we know that this woman right here is going to be I, A, little i. All right, and we can do the same thing over here with this type B man whose mother was type A. Okay, again, it's the same sort of thing. If the mother for this man was type A, it could have been I, A, I, A, or I, A, little i. Well, in order to have a for this person to have a child with type B, you would have had to have this little I right there donated. So this type B man is going to be I, B, little I. All right. If that's confusing um, for you and you don't understand, please make sure that you ask me and I can try and explain it again to you one-on-one um, -on -one without this video. All right, so let's go ahead and do this cross. I, I, B, little I right there. All right, and then we just sort of fill out this Punnett square. I, A, little I. Okay, and then we look at the genotypes. And we actually have, in this case, we have four different genotypes. So we're going to start with our most dominant I, A, I, B. Right? Then we have our I, A, little I. And we have I, B, little i, and then finally little i, little i. And they are all in a one to one to one to one ratio, all right? Um, or 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. All right, and then we look at our phenotypes, and this one is going to be phenotype AB, so that's type AB. This one right here is type A, okay? This is type B. And then little i, little i is type O. And again, those are all in a one to one to one to one ratio. Okay, so this next question is asking, um, so we have a type, what's the probability that a couple whose blood types are A, B, and O have a type A child? So let's uh, go ahead and work that out. So if we're type A, B, we're going to be I, A, I, B, that's our genotype. And if we're type O, our genotype is little i, little i. All right. And then let's just go ahead and fill this out. I, A, I, B, little i, little i right there. Okay. 
All right, so what's the probability that they're going to have a type A child? Well, the only ones that are type A are going to be these two right here. All right, and so that's two out of four or one half. So the probability is 50% um, um, for type A. And then what are the other 50% going to be? Well, those are going to be type B.